Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN. Ah, they love their football out in Oakland. Can't tell what you'll find in the stands in the black hole. They'll certainly be out in force. We get set to bring you another edition of the NFL on ESPN. A very good matchup here. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Oakland Raiders. Now! And Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this game. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Oakland Coliseum. Standing beside me is my right-hand man, Mr. Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, we have a whole bunch of good receivers down there. You're not kidding, Dan. Both of these teams have a receiving core that can spread the field and make big plays. The Raiders are blessed with a core of receivers who are outstanding route runners. They get where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. The Buccaneers also have some talented route runners amongst their receivers. It makes the quarterback's job so much easier when he knows in advance the timing he'll need on his release. Both groups should factor heavily in the outcome today, but only one will go home with the W. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski kicks it, and we are underway. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. The Buccaneers offense takes the field and they will start at their own 20 yard line. Allstar takes his first carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. and that brings up third down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information uh, along to you. There. You're there. Uh, oh, let me check this out for a second. Yeah. Looks like his neck turned pretty bad. Oh. It's going to be all right. Just take it easy. Oh. Take it easy. I got some. Third down, two yards to go. Galloway goes in motion. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Midwell lines up to punt after the three and out. Midwell gets the snap and punts it away. Buchanan fields the punt at the 34. Philip Buchanan can make it all happen on the return. Third year man out of Miami and he's liable to go all the way if he can get the return angle right. Advice to tacklers here. No fancy moves. Just bring him down quick. Raiders send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 42-yard line. And bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. It's intercepted! One man to beat, stopped at 
to 29. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Oh, okay. oh, 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 Dwight Smith has a monster play for the D. He picks off the ball here and then takes it downfield for a huge game. Man, you cannot coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Buccaneers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at the 29-yard line. Pittman picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Pittman goes in motion. Allstar takes it across the line and takes it upfield. Tackled at the 19. Garner had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Kalber has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I got in touch with the team doctor, and apparently he's suffering from neck spasms. They're massaging it, and it's working well. Expect to see him on the field later in the game. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Susie. Allstar picks up six on the play, and that will bring up first down. First, first down, Buccaneers. Let's go, Raiders. Play some D. Watch first the down from the eye. Johnson airs this one to the left sideline and it's caught for a touchdown. Brad Johnson throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. The touchdown was his for the taking, Peter. Good individual effort. Yeah, and great teamwork, too. Martin 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 to attempt the extra point. point. Number, Number two, two. Hold. Hold. <laughs> Here's the point after, yeah, and point. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Grammatica rockets this one deep. Vargas decides to take it out of the end zone. No one in front of him. The 15. Touchdown! Mario Edwards is going to keep his wits about him here and make a smart play. The ball's loose, but now he gains control. That touchdown is going to establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. Martin 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 to attempt the extra point. point. Number, Number two, two hold hold hold. Now the point after, the and point it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, keep this thing on me all game. All game. There's the signal, and we're ready. Grammatica booms a beauty here. Vargas decides to take it out of the end zone. Bang down at the 20. 
Justin Fargus took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Raiders offense has yet to generate a first down. They are hoping it's coming up as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Brown goes in motion. Wheatley will get the carry on first down and heads wide right. No one in front of him. The 45, 35, 25 breaks a tackle. Eventually runs out of bounds at the four. It'll be first and goal. Tyrone Wheatley sticks close to the sidelines and racks up a bunch of yards. Then he goes out of bounds well past the markers, I might add. Yeah, he went for the whole enchilada on that play, and I'm not talking about those mini appetizer ones either. That's the first time they tried to run it there, and the decision paid off pretty big. Yeah, when you've got ball carriers like him, it's foolish not to make the running game part of your attack. Oh, look at that. Longest career NFL run. Nice going. Gannon throws a ball to the flat, and... Derek Brooks targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And as far as tackles go, this was a pretty good one. He had this one lined up from the get-go. Well, you kids at home, if you're thinking about playing D, pay attention. That's exactly what you want to do. it away on the coverage incomplete. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. As we can see here, we've got the injuries that have accrued over the season, and let me tell you, each one of these guys was hard to lose. Injuries are a fact of life in the NFL. You have to push on and field the best team possible. Let's go back and revisit that last tackle in the backfield. Great stop. And you want to talk about a guy that's all over the field. Here's your man, Derek Brooks. Not only was he the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year two years back, but this guy hasn't missed a game in his entire 10-year career. Third down, goal to go. Gannon throws a ball, and the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Janikowski from 18 yards, and it's good. Sebastian Janikowski puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. The Buccaneers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Galloway goes in motion. His number called on first down and chews up about four on the play. Lose a bunch here. And that will bring up third down. Travian Smith was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Clayton makes a nice catch, and they get the first on third and long. Pass interference, number 24, defense. The penalty is declined. What are you doing? Number, 
First down with two tight ends to the right. Allstott takes the handoff and heads out right. Brought down at the 46. Mike Allstott used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and Gains about three yards. All start goes in motion. Johnson fires this one over the middle and it's intercepted. Eric Gibson knew exactly where the ball was going on that last play. Thanks to some great single zone coverage, his positioning got him the interception. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Raiders are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 36 yard line. to the left and picks up four on the play. Jerry Porter took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. They move the ball and it will be second down. Rice goes in motion. Gannon zips it to the left sideline, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Rich Gannon is a good quarterback. 18-year man out of University of Delaware and an arm that can make the plays when he needs to. He's a flashy guy running the show here, and he can come up big. Keep an eye on it. Porter mishandles this one and drops it incomplete. Jerry Porter looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Gannon throws this up and he's on target for a gain of five. Zach Crockett took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. They move the ball and that'll bring up third down. Brown goes in motion. Brooks makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Derek Brooks managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Leckler gets ready to punt this away. Leckler takes the long snap and punts it away. The Buccaneers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Intercepted. Breaks free. 
One man to beat, no one in front of him, and touchdown! Touchdown Raiders! Philip Buchanan picks off the ball, and he's going all the way! Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. Now the extra point, and it's good. The extra point is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski, whom's a beauty here? This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. The Buccaneers have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Johnson waffles it on the left side and it's caught for a gain of 10 on the play. Brad Johnson threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. Couple of the best banging heads there. This one off the toss and barely picks up the first down. Well, check out those interceptions from last year. What a ball hawk! Johnson throws a heater and it's tipped incomplete. Sam Williams got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, one man back. up four on the play. Brad Johnson threw a nice pass past the coverage and got the completion. Tough throw, but an accurate throw. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Galloway goes in motion. Johnson throws a bullet here, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Philip Buchanan was in man coverage and played it pretty tight. Tight enough for the incompletion. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Bidwell lines up for the punt. Well, takes the snap and punts it away. Buchanan takes it at the 20. Stop at the 30. Philip Buchanan racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Raiders offense has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 30-yard line. Gannon zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Ryan Kelly managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Pass going over the top. 
Brown goes in motion. Jolly makes a tough catch, and that's good for six. Doug Jolly was really getting crowded out there with three defenders, but he still made the catch. A lot of short completions like that today, Peter, where they get stopped right uh, soon after the catch. Yeah, if you can't make anything happen after the catch, those short throws are useless. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Buccaneers are out in front, 14 to 10. Three more quarters of me and my D in your face. My bro, my bro. Rip, rip, go. rip, rip. Gannon sings it to the right side, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Pass interference, number 52, The ball is spotted Ian Golds manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan, and he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First down and four wideouts in the game. Snags the dart right sideline and loses yards on that one. What are you guys getting paid for? Get it. Can you deal with this? All the Raiders, 38 yard argument. Sacks him back at the 35. Corey Ivey gets to the quarterback, and nobody lays a finger on him. And then he proceeds to lay a lot more than a finger on him. Yeah, he used all 10 and then some. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Let's make the stand here. There's no fuel left in their tank. Oh, Jack 2, Jack 2, go! 2, 2, 2, go! Rice takes the catch on the right sideline and they get the first on third and long. Gannon uncorks this to the left sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Brown catches it over the middle, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Gannon throws this one on the court, and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Rice crushes him behind the line at the four. Simeon Rice was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They managed to hold them behind the line of scrimmage, but they have another shot at it coming up. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Bucket punches this one left of center and gets in for the score. Touchdown, Raiders. Nice little run here. A good job of slicing through the D and picking up the yards that he needed. I love to see fight like that on those shorter plays. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive. Yeah, great calls and great execution. Here's the extra point, and the extra it's point good. Is good. There's the signal, and we're ready. This 
will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. Either interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. The Buccaneers' offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Clayton goes in motion. Buchanan makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Philip Buchanan couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Johnson throws a beauty to the right side, and it's tipped incomplete. Derek Gibson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Third down, 10 yards to go. Grabs the fastball over the middle and... Okay, bring him out. Bring him out. Bring out the chains. No first, baby. No first. No first, baby. No first. Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan, and it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the little details. Oh, this is the stuff our camera crew is so good at capturing every week. Great job, guys. the sack at the 25. Warren Sapp nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh yeah, that's a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. The defensive design worked flawlessly and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Tackled at the 43. That was perfect positioning back there to get the interception. Heck of a defensive play. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Raiders will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at the 43-yard line. Jolly goes in motion. Wheatley gets the call on first down and hits left. Brought down at the 42. Okay, fellas, we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Wheatley has his number called on second down and gains about three yards. Hey guys, covered this before. You know the plan. You know what to do. Let's stick to the plan. Don't even think about running the ball on us. Gannon rifles it out left side and it falls incomplete. Leckler lines up to punt after the three and out. Oh, 
Leckler gets the ball and punts it away. Galloway fair catches it at the 13. The Buccaneers offense takes the field and they have a way to go. They'll start at their own 13-yard line. The Cardell goes in motion. Johnson fires this one over the middle and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. John Wade got hit by the ball. He wasn't expecting it, didn't mean to, but unfortunately he was an ineligible receiver and that's a penalty. Cardell catches the heater left sideline and picks up 14 on the play. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Dudley goes in motion. Camilla picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up first down. Pittman takes it off the toss and passes the line. Drag down at the 25. Michael Pittman used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Johnson really rifles this pass as the reception's made at the 39, and he stopped right there. First down. Brad Johnson launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down with the tight end right. Cardell goes in motion. Woodson tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Brad Johnson has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 93 yards and three interceptions. Pittman picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Okay, what's the plan? Okay, let's go. One man to beat, no one in front of him. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown Raiders. Philip Buchanan picks off the ball and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Another interception for his stats today. And I, I'll tell you, I can't remember when I've seen a defensive performance like this. This guy's rewriting history. Now 
the point after, and the it's good. The point is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski rockets this one deep. Bennett downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Buccaneers had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 20-yard line. Galloway goes in motion. Allstock gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Second down, both wideouts to the right. Couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Johnson throws a big high lob and it's intercepted. One man to beat gets out at the 23. Philip Buchanan not only shanghais the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. To react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing Danny, just about this? impossible back, so far. Absolutely. Back. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. The Raiders come out on the field, and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at the 23 yard line. Brown grabs the rope right side and gets past the markers for a first down. First down, three wideouts in the game. Porter goes in motion. Wheatley picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Tyrone Wheatley didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Wheatley gets the ball again and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Ellis Wims targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Gannon throws a heater and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Corey Ivey came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Fourth down, goal to go. Janikowski with a 25-yarder and it's up through the goal post. Good. Shane Leckler handled this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski rockets this one deep. 
Bennett downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Buccaneers have had real problems turning the ball over. They'll need to buck the trend on this drive, which starts at their own 20-yard line. Washington knocks it down at the line incomplete. Brad Johnson has had difficulties to say the least, and now he's second-guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he struggled to get 93 yards and five interceptions. We play a ball today, Callaway. Single back, single back. Down. Two, 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 three. Chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Third down from the eye. Woodson hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Bidwell gets ready to punt this away. Bidwell takes the long snap and punts it away. Buchanan fields the punt at the 35. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. They turned the ball over, but they have survived their mistakes. But you can't survive that kind of sloppy play for long. It's going to come back to bite you. Philip Buchanan got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Raiders come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 39-yard line. Wheatley gets his seventh carry of the game and will lose about a yard here. Derek Brooks was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so check far. Gannon throws a bullet to the flat, and it's incomplete. Zach Crockett didn't have anybody on him, and yet he couldn't make the catch. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Not a lot of potential on that call. Third down, one man back. Raiders take their first time out. Gannon rifles it out left side. The Raiders will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down, two tight ends in the game. It's intercepted. Forced down at the 39. All right, yeah, I'm bringing it all day. Ronde Barber gets the interception, but that really happened because his teammate got in there and tipped it. Oh, it's all about coordinating your defense, man. Playing as a team. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. 
The Buccaneers offense takes the field with the clock at 28. Johnson throws a heater right sideline and th the Buccaneers take their first time out. First down, 10 yards to go. No good, incomplete. Michael Clayton had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Johnson throws a bullet to the flat. And the Buccaneers will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down and four wideouts in the game. The 28. Philip Buchanan knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly to give his receivers a few tips about mid-air receptions. And you know, with that interception, he's up to six on the year. He's not making it easy on any quarterback out there. Yeah, that's why you'll see balls go to the other side of the field. He, he's that good. The Raiders offense takes the field with the clock at 11. Cannon rifles this one hard over the middle and it's off incomplete. Second down, two wide outs on the field. Picks up about two and... And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Raiders enjoying the lead 27 to 14. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Let's take a look at the numbers from our first half, and you see red zone offense, as is often the case, has played a big role thus far. The Buccaneers are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Dwight Smith shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Buccaneers early in the first quarter. The Buccaneers already inside field goal range. Brad Johnson connected with his man on this one. A 13-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. The Raiders, after a tough goal line stand, Raiders losing by 14. Tyrone Wheatley got the ball here, and it was a defensive meltdown. He's got lots of space ahead. Closed the gap some, now down by 11. Buccaneers midway through the first. Brad Johnson would find his target on this one. Bucks leading 14 to three. Philip Buchanan would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Raiders. The Raiders climb back again and are now down by four. Raiders later in the second. The incomparable Jerry Rice is gonna try to stretch the field here. He's gonna make them pay. A 30 yard play that set up a Raider touchdown. Buccaneers still in the second quarter. Bucks back by three. Philip Buchanan was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. 
Buccaneers, middle of the second. Philip Buchanan shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Raiders. Bucks losing 24 to 14. Philip Buchanan shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. After driving 15 yards on four plays, Sebastian Janikowski gets the call as they can't punch it into the end zone, but the short field goal is up and good. Connect on their second field goal. Raiders late into the second quarter. Raiders ahead by 13. Rondé Barber would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Buccaneers still late in the half. Philip Buchanan was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Raiders are up at the half, 27 to 14. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Philip Buchanan has been unstoppable. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Raiders get the ball first this half, and another score by them could really open up this game. They currently lead 27 to 14. Now let's get to the game. Vargas catches it back at the two. Brought down at the 23. Let's go down to Susie Culver, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Norv Turner talked with me at halftime, and he was pleased with their defensive effort. In particular, he said that the interceptions were a big boost to the team emotionally and strategically. He said, I got to tip my cap to our defense. They've been playing well, and hopefully, they'll keep them off balance in the next half. Back to you. Thanks, Susie. Brown goes in motion. Wheatley picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Field stopped at the 29. Number 96 with the Tyrone Wheatley has done well, but a lot of these yards are from that one big run that he pulled off earlier. Still, I like his numbers, and so far he's racked up 87 yards on 10 carries. Let's take it up, Anosh, dude! Take it up! Take it back! Take it back! Kelly makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Brian Kelly came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Leckler lines up to punt after the three and out. Leckler gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Galloway fields the deep punt at the 25. Drag down at the 41. Joey Galloway didn't get phased by that mammoth punt. He read the field, Dan, and managed to minimize it with a solid run back. The Buccaneers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 41-yard line. Galloway goes in motion. Galloway calls it in right side and is well past the markers for a first down. Keep your eyes on the pass. Keep your eyes on the pass. Down. Lucy, Lucy. 
the 38. Michael Pittman dealt a wicked stiff arm on that last play, creating distance between himself and his tacklers. And, you know, creating distance is a good thing in football. And Peter, this is just a great individual effort to slip this tackle right here. Yeah, and it sounds funny to say this, but sometimes it's good to run with a bit of fear in you. You know, when you're afraid to go down, you can find your way out of tackles like that. Pittman gets the handoff and stiff arms his way to a first down. Michael Pittman got aggressive with the stiff arm there to keep that play going. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Michael Pittman used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Goes in motion. Galloway times the missile, and he's just barely past the markers for a first. First down from the on. Gains about three yards. Second and seven. up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Galloway goes in motion. Johnson sends it to the right side and they convert on third down. Joey Galloway has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he undid it. How eloquently put. Thank you. Pittman picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Galloway goes in motion. Johnson lobs this one over the middle and it's tipped. Incomplete. Sam Williams came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Whew, look at all those IMTs. They can't sit well with the head coach. Smith sacks him back at the nine. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fabian Smith sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. It has to feel like they're going down and up escalate. Yeah, a good rule of thumb here is to try to move the ball in the general direction of the other team's end zone. That, that's what usually works. That'll be his first sack of the game. It's through the uprights. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. We're bringing it. I'm bringing it. Yeah. Martin Gramatica takes the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Gramatica booms a beauty here. 
Vargas decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 21. Justin Fargus got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Raiders stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 21-yard line. Gold tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Ian Gold was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Brown goes in motion. Wheatley gets the call again and will end up losing a couple. Greg Spires not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. Ian Gold made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He's now up to six tackles. Leckler lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Leckler gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Galloway gets it at the 29. Tackled at the 46. Joey Galloway didn't get phased by that mammoth punt. He read the field, Dan, and managed to minimize it with a solid run back. The Buccaneers offense takes the field and they are already halfway there. They'll start at their 46 yard line. Johnson sits it to the left sideline and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Pass interference, number 54, defense. Sam Williams manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. Catches it over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Allstott has his on first down and rambles for about five. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, we've got some notable injuries this season. Teams are doing their best to put their best team on the field each week, but the injuries are piling up. There's no avoiding it. The key is to have depth in your roster and just hope for the best. And this was a situation, Mr. O'Keefe, hmm. where we had two guys of just about equal strength coming together. Yeah, but one guy wanted it more. Second down, one man down. Perella tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. John Perella was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Johnson unports this to the left sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Joey Galloway made a superb catch, even though he had three guys closing in on him. What a play. That's another medium-range catch for him. He's really found his niche in there. Yeah, and unless he starts getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. Galloway goes in motion. up a yard on the play and that 
that will bring up second down. Peter, that has to be tough to do. He used his weight to make the stop, and he did it against one of the most evasive players on the field. You got to guess a direction in that situation, and he guessed right. That's instincts. Second down, both tight ends left. Johnson fires this one over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Moore was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. After coming off the field a little gingerly, the trainers have determined that he's pulled his calf muscle. They're icing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return, doubtful. Dan? Thanks, Susie. Good call here, Dan. These short yardage plays are a lot harder than you think, but on this one, they tough it out on the ground and get everything they need. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 31 yards and one touchdown. Here's the point after, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Romantica booms a beauty here. Vargas downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders it, have had this? some trouble moving the ball back. recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. and just rifles this one, and it's tipped, incomplete. Rich Gannon is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 116 yards and two interceptions. Bring it this way, Rice. Second and ten. Shotgun. Shotgun. Down. Set. Gray, 25. Dolly catches the bullet out left, and that will be good for a gain of eight. Rich Cannon threw the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. Another short, controlled pass for the completion. Their short game has been pretty good. About par, yeah. They, they haven't been nickel and diming them, but they've been nickel. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. Fourth down coming up. Shelton Quarles targeted the ball we carrier early down, and didn't Bring. even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Leckler lines up for the punt. Leckler takes the snap and pummels this one deep. Galloway fields the deep punt at the 24. Brought down at the 42. Joey Galloway fields a tremendous kick there. He catches it and hustles back for a very good gain. I'll bet his offense is breathing a sigh of relief right now. The Buccaneers will start this drive at their 42-yard line. Allstott picks up about two, and that brings up second down. 
Mike Allstott used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls, or wide receivers for that matter. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Raiders with a small lead, 27 to 24. This one and drops it. Incomplete. Keenan McCardell had that ball in his hands on that play and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed there. Johnson rifles it out left side and it's intercepted. Stop at the 45. Brad Johnson is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. Another throw that was picked off, and this game is turning into a nightmare for him. Well, he better wake up. The Raiders are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 45-yard line. Dodges this one way out right and picks up a couple. Number 26, the Second down, tight end to the left. Wheatley gains five on the play, and that brings up third down. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Convert on third down. Bring it all day. Jim Brown makes the catch here with three defenders on his tail. I'll tell you, I was not expecting that pass at all. I wonder if he knew it was coming. Yeah, Peter, I think you could argue that that throw probably should never have been made. It was very risky, but it did work out. Yeah, it's all about staying focused and believing in your teammates. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Gannon airs this one to the left sideline, and it's bobbled and dropped incomplete. Jerry Porter had that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. Peter, I tell you, he, he seems to be in a bit of a funk recently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's his fourth ball thrown his way, and, and he can't reel them in. Yeah, funky, Dan. He's just got to grab one to get his confidence back, though. Second down, empty backfield. it away on the coverage incomplete. Rondé Barber couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every on, chance Jerry. they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Gannon throws a high long one to the right. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Jerry Porter was the intended receiver. Ian Gold with the cover. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Janikowski boots it from 47 yards out. And, and he misses this one to the right. Come on. Sebastian Janikowski misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but 
close only counts in horseshoes. That's his third attempt today, and this time he cannot put it through. Still, he's put points on the board today, Dan, so he can't kick himself too badly. The Buccaneers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 38-yard line. Pittman takes it to his 14th carry and chews up about four on the play. Charles Woodson with the tackle. Galloway catches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Joey Galloway had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Clayton goes in motion. <laughs> Pittman picks up about two, and that will bring up fourth down. Charles Woodson brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his third tackle of the game. Bidwell lines up to punt after the three and out. <laughs> Bidwell gets the ball and punts it away. Buchanan feels the punt at the 14. Drag down at the 16. Philip Buchanan didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Raiders haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 16-yard line. Gannon throws a beauty to the right side, and it's intercepted. Watch where you're throwing, Rich. Jermaine Phillips goes why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Buccaneers' gun, offense gun. takes the field, and they are already in field goal position. They'll line up at the 26-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. Second down, three wide outs in the game. Cardell goes in motion. Johnson throws a bullet, and this one is incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Namdi Asamuga swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Fourth down in the field goal unit is on the field. It's good! Martin Gramatica kicks the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. Martin Gramatica kicking on the ref gets the signal, and we're set. Gramatica kicks this one away. Vargas fields the kickoff at the one. Breaks a tackle. Stopped at the 25. Justin Fargus received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. Watch 
The Raiders offense will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Rice goes in motion. Wheatley picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Get it. Can you deal with this? They go back. They go back. Motion, motion, motion. Porter grabs the rope right side and is at the 35. Chase down at the 37. It will be first down. Jerry Porter makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. You can almost hear a little sigh of relief after he made that grab, Peter. He's been butterfingers all day and has dropped some big catches. That's true, but I do like how he's kept his head in the game and he came down with that one. It, it's all about putting the past behind you. First down, one man down. Gannon lofts this one out to the left and it's knocked away from the receiver, incomplete. Jerry Porter was the Indian receiver. Brian Kelly was the cover. Rich Gannon has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 152 yards and no touchdowns. Brown didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Jim Brown went to the outside on that last play, had some room but couldn't make the catch, incomplete. Another ball comes his way, and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Gannon rifles it out left side and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Brian Kelly got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. He records yet another batted ball. And I'll tell you, he's really playing well out there. Yeah, he's been after the ball from the beginning of the game. Real aggressive play. Leckler lines up for the punt. Leckler takes the snap and pummels this one deep. Galloway catches it at the 15. Left down at the 25. Joey Galloway returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Buccaneers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Takes this one way out left and maybe picks up one on the play. Back to chains up, all stop. All stop, chews up nine yards, and that brings up third down. Mike Allstott just plows through the D-line on this one, Dan. Watch how he does it. Yeah, he lowered his shoulder and just charged through the line. What a physical guy. Boy, that was a strong play, Peter. I'll say, I don't care how quick you are to the ball, it's tough to stop that. Third down and less than a yard. Pittman gets the toss and runs into traffic. Williams takes him down back at the 31. That will bring up fourth down. Sam Williams executed a beautiful backfield tackle there to back him up. An awesome hit. That's his third tackle of the game. Bidwell lines up to punt after the three and out. Bidwell gets the snap and punts it away. Buchanan fields the punt at the 26. Dragged down at the 
the 32. Philip Buchanan didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Raiders haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 32-yard line. Quarles sacks him way back at the 26. Shelton Quarles got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second down with the tight end right. Wheatley makes it for his 17th carry and will end up losing a bunch here. Shelton Quarles was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and we made the tackle. Right Peter, he's been right lighting up the defensive Bingo side of the ball today right and right getting right some right nice right numbers right out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles and one sack. Gannon throws a big rainbow here, and they get the first on third and long. Rich Gannon tears this one out beautifully. That's how you throw the ball down. Take notes all you want to be quarterback. Right on the money, Peter. He is just a fantastic passer. Well, it's easy to complete a pass when there's only one guy covering the receiver. On third and very, very long, and they come out with a big play to move the chains. That was really quite a call. That sure was. Got to give those guys on the sideline credit for drawing up that bad boy. Edwards tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Mario Edwards managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Second down and four wideouts in the game. Gannon fires this one over the middle and it's intercepted. Crosses the field. Tackled at the 42. <sighs> Check out the interception here on the replay, Dan. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Peter, that's his second interception, and what a game he's having so far. Unbelievable. He's all pumped up down there. The Buccaneers, offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their 42-yard line. Pittman will take the handoff and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Johnson throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 43. Finally gets out of bounds at the 46. That will bring up first down. First down, 10 yards to go. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Johnson sings it to the right side and they can't connect. Incomplete.
vicious. Pulls down the lob, and they get the first on third and long. Joe Juravicious has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. First down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. First time up. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. The Cardell goes in motion. sideline and he gets the go-ahead touchdown Michael Clayton faces down two defenders and comes away with the football oh nice catch that touchdown will give them the lead late in the game what a play you gotta love it let's go team cover your man number two Here's the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Gramatica rockets this one deep. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's good work out there, All right, man. all right, yeah. The Raiders start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.53. The sack and the Raiders will take a timeout. That's their second. Oh, come on, guys. Let's play. Second down from the shotgun. Quarles tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Let's quickly revisit that sack just a play ago. That was a fantastic defensive play. And Danny, Simeon Rice has that ability to shed blockers like a lizard sheds its skin. I mean, here's a guy that rung up double-digit sack totals six times in his eight-year career, and cha-ching, ring up another one. Third down, the clock is stopped at 1.45. Gannon zips it to the left sideline, and it is not real in, incomplete. Dwight Smith closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. The defense forces fourth down, and even if they had completed the pass... It still would have been short. Yes. You, you have to run those routes farther in that situation. Corey Ivey turns things around by forcing the ball loose. It, it gets recovered right here. And they get some good yards out of it. Great turn of events for this defense. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. The Buccaneers will start this drive with unbelievable field position with the clock at 137. Pamela goes in motion. Timeout. That's their final one.
Second and eight. eight. Ball on the team. Now 14. Down. Set. Green, 15. Green, 15. Green. Well, that loss will bring up third down, but they can't be too worried about it. They're still eating up the clock. Back them chains up, all start. Rip, rip. No sign of hurry from the offense. They're going to take it slow here, Dan. They're concerned with one thing right now, and that's the clock. Well, there's a loss that'll bring up fourth down, Dan. And while it's a big play, the clock still ticks on. Another 40 seconds will roll off the clock here. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Romanica kicks it from 33 yards, and he misses this one to the right. Martin Gramatica misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Raiders start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 14. Cannon gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's off incomplete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second down, one man back. Rice didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Rondé Barber shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down. The clock is stopped at six. Gannon uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Corey Ivey came in and got a hand on that football. It left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. You should have gone for the field goal, baby. Bingo back. Bingo back. Hey, yo, I got a man. Brown brings down the lob left side, and he's looking for room. Stop cold, but it doesn't matter. They have the first down at the 15. Tim Brown is going to make the catch right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Peter, I know you sometimes like aggressive play calling, but uh, really, uh, that deep in your own territory? Well, they felt like they were in four-down territory at this stage in the game, but I, I don't think this is the part of the field to be trying that kind of stuff. And that will do it for tonight's game. The Buccaneers come out on top 34-27. to 27. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye. Until next Next time. All right, gang. Great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Buccaneers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll 
pick up the action midway through the third quarter. After driving 50 yards on 11 plays, Martin Gramatica Correct would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through. A 27-yard field goal. The Buccaneers climb back into the game, now down by 10. This time at the 5. Michael Pittman got the carry here and he comes through. A four-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. Bucks down by three. Wayne Rudd shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Raiders have it off an interception. Rich Loose Gannon would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Raiders out in front, 27 to 24. Jermaine Phillips would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. He's on three plays. Martin Gramatica correct. is called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. Connect on their second field goal. Game tied, 27 all. Jermaine Phillips was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Bucks have it off an interception. Brad Johnson would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 19-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. Bucks up 34 to 27. Ian, all that glitters is not gold. Is going to come up with a big play here. Whoop! The ball's loose. Scramble. He's there to grab it. The Raiders, after a red zone stop, ball at their own 23-yard line. Tim Brown was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bucks edge out a win, 34 to 27. Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Michael Clayton is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You really came up big. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What put you guys over the top? Our D-line came up big today. They were making tackles and putting pressure in the pocket. I'm proud of them. That's how we do it. Chris, back to you. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long.